Welcome to my YouTube channel, Nady the Coder. So today in this lecture we're going to be talking about the fourth principle that made React so popular. So until now, we have learned that React takes care of DOM changes for us using something called Virtual DOM. We learned that we build a website with components. And the third thing that we learned about is the unidirectional flow, where data only flows from the state to the DOM, to the virtual DOM, and it's easier to debug the code. So the final thing that really made React stand out is this idea of, hey, I'm just the UI, the rest is up to you. React is basically a, a, a UI library. Remember how with Angular it came with all these things built in and and that is AngularJS. It was a framework and a framework is kind of like a whole kitchen. It gives you the, the gives the developers all the tools necessary to build an application. So if you're a cook in a kitchen while well, you get oven, you get the knives, you get drawers, you get pots, you get pans, uh, you have the stove, you have everything for you. And this is how you cook and this is how you build a website. And it is really, really opinionated. opinionated. On the other hand, React said, hey, I only care about this whole idea of components and virtual DOM. And I only am to work with the view, the user interface, everything else that you need while you can just use other modules, other libraries and mix and match and have whatever you want to customize based on your need. So it was a library, a UI library, which is not like a kitchen. It's more of a, it's more like, uh, let's say the stove, they give you the stove to cook your soup on, but everything else like knife, cutting board, spoon. Well, you can pick whichever you want. It's up to you, whatever is, um, whatever you need to, to, to build that soup or cook that soup. All we give you is this oven. And the key idea was that because it was so small, you can learn once and write anywhere. What does that mean? Well, React doesn't make assumptions about what technology stack you use. All we give you is, hey, here is this idea of components of a blueprint that we can use a massive JavaScript object to make changes on. And here is also the library that will interact with the DOM and make changes to you uh, for you. Because it only focuses with the UI, we are actually able to move React to other places other than, well, let's say the web, for example. We can have, we can now have like multiple uh, places that we can use React on, basically. So let's say for now, uh, we have React Native that we can use React on the mobile. So it just takes care of, you can build your mobile application with React. Uh, you can uh, build desktop application using Electron and React and um, uh, React works very well with that as well. And even with the 360 VR glasses, the virtual reality glasses, uh, you can build applications for that using React library. So this is how powerful it is and this is how much flexible it is. So basically React is not a framework, it just gives you the UI, you just pass it the object, the data or, or the blueprint that you want to build the UI on and it will listen to the changes and create. This is a virtual DOM for you and uh, you, you will be able to see the changes right away. So that is basically what React.js is and we'll talk about it in the upcoming lectures as well. We'll have practical example, we'll um, create some projects based on React.js, so you'll have more and more idea about this. So I hope you have learned something new in this lecture, and please make sure you subscribe to the channel and push the bell icon in order to get the updates. And until date, I'll see you in this lecture.